Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Whiskey Gang is here. I'm here. We're back. We're Ease 8. So, like, here's the thing about Ease 8. Um, we beat the bad guy. And the game didn't end. I mean, bad guy is kind of a kind of a loaded word there. Things are shaking. It's shaking. It's feeling like day three Majora's Mask in here. <laughs> um, uh, the big thing is that we have... Um, where am I even going? I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, we have the Okeanus uh, defeated and very dead at the bottom of the ocean, which is quite great. Um, but... Donna still having issues with her memory, and we're trying to figure out, like, what the deal is. And so the deal um, seems to have something to do with what happened to Eternia. And here we are. That sounded bad. It sure did. So what we need to do is, like, figure out... Number one, what happened, which it seems like we're about to kind of find out here. But in addition, there's also like, you know. Oh, my bad. Sorry about that. Um, there's implications for the present time. Because as we've gone places... Donna in the present time has like had crushing headaches that have been really painful. What's going on? And we don't really know what the deal with that is, and she doesn't really either. But here we are. Oh hi. Hi guys. There's enemies. Not super concerned about the enemies. I'm gonna try to kinda run past the owl. I look away for one goddamn second. I don't remember this um, bridge being this long. My attacks won't land. It's not just because of the fog. What is going on? It's a good question. This presence. Hi. Again, I look away for one fucking second. Stop looking away, maybe. Game's like, I know what you're doing. You're checking the score, aren't you? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, I am. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. game's like, ha-ha. But you looked away. And here is an attack. We got another pixie thing. Pixie spirit fairy thing. Meow. Yeah. Well, that sounds bad. And a rift has been torn from the earth. That sounds really bad. I don't like that. It's too late, I fear. If this continues, the world will... The world will what? It's too late. We can still stop it. There must be something we can do. Now, you said the world will. Now, this is in the past, so clearly the world didn't. What? Because there's still a world. All right, Astios. Spirit of light. Like you, I too wish to forestall the end. Please, use this. Give me upgrades. We like upgrades in this house. We sure do like upgrades. Hell yeah. use the luminous style so we have the regular style and we have the slow and strong style so I'm gonna go out on a limb and guess this is the uh, weak but fast style 
This is the lunar style to uh, Gratica's Jupiter style for those of the Gravity Rush persua persuasion. Yeah, I gotta play Gravity Rush again. It's been too long. Last time I played it was when I streamed it, which was like three years ago. Crazy <laughs> for me to think about, but I think it was 2021, so yeah. Yeah, sure will. All right, got some more virtue. Okay, can I? I I didn't even look away that time. I just had slow reaction. Oh hell yeah! Look at all this killing. We doing all the killing. Ha <laughs> ha. Well, I guess it it. it it said you did enough killing. <laughs> Are those saurian footsteps? I'm sure there's going to be a big ass dinosaur. How could a saurian be here? Yeah, how'd this thing get here? That's big. It is that's too big to fit through the doors. Where the fuck did this come from? Cobalt Adalon of the Fog Lacayanos. Those, none of those words are in the Bible, except maybe fog. <laughs> fog might be, but I don't think the rest of them are. All right, so I have a feeling that I'm going to have to use this style, right? Is that correct? Is that what we're, is that what we're implying here? I don't like this attack, whatever this is. I don't know what it is, but... Oh, no. We got to do this, because he's got big armor things on his feet. Al rude. We gotta break those armor things on his feetsies. Yeah. I, he froze me. That's so rude. That is incredible. I have one. Although I have 26 remedies, so that, you know, that should be fine then. All right. So now that I just get frozen a second time, what is freezing me? All right, I think at this point we probably want this style. Yeah, now that we've broken the the nonsense. Oh no, he's gonna try to freeze me again, right? He's gonna keep trying to freeze me. Rude. Come on! <laughs> That's such shit. I really want them to show their work as far as these hitboxes go. Gonna stay away from whatever that nonsense is, because I would like not to be frozen again, please. Don't charge at me, that's rude. Yeah, uh huh. Ow. Excuse you. Excuse you! Okay. I I'm really. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder, man. What does it take to actually dodge? Because it seems like dodge is more of a concept rather than something you can actually do. I know it's timing. I know, I know. I know that. The problem is, the window for the timing is so infinitesimally small. The head is not the answer, it's the legs. What the fuck is this? Don't do that. I don't know what this is, but don't do it. Don't fucking do it. This is bad. No. 
Don't shoot meteors at me. You're a dinosaur. You shouldn't be allowed to shoot meteors. You get killed by meteors. That's the deal. Dinosaurs get killed by meteors. They don't shoot them. Oh, come on, I was in the middle of a fucking dodge. What the fuck? Alright, we're not doing, like, any damage, by the way. Maybe I'm misunderstanding that he's weak to this, and maybe I should be using a different style, but I don't know. Oh, fuck off. Okay, so now I'm just stuck, right? Is that how it goes? Yeah, Cause we're not, do we're really not doing a lot of damage. Which isn't necessarily, isn't necessarily a problem. But I feel like, all right. Let me, let me just, let me do this first, cause I, st I have had this loaded up for a while, and I just haven't paid attention to using it. We're not hitting him in the weak spot, though. So this is going to massively to waste. That could have been way more efficient. That's okay. I mean, I can't... I don't think I can target his legs. I can only target his head. So, there wasn't really any hope of that working out. There we go. That's helpful. There we go. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Sweet, we extincted a dinosaur. He's extinct now. What's that? I've never seen that species of saurian before. It's a good question. Sure am. What's going on, Olga? Where you been? The fog is. Now you're gonna tell me that that dinosaur created the fog? I mean, if he can create meteors, I guess he can create fog. I guess that's fine. I guess we believe those things. Mm-hmm. Well, the thick fog seemed kind of magical. I don't know. But right now, we need to... Now what? Oh, no. The barrier! Oh, shit. Yeah, that's probably bad. That's probably really bad. Well, now we know what happened to the palace. Except, we grew a tree to prevent that. But that didn't seem to happen. Never mind, yeah, it did. There it is. That tree. That tree we created. Yeah. The prayer tree you planted. It's protecting the palace. Ha <laughs> ha. We changed time. Soon. If another falling star should arrive, the capital is in no condition to withstand it. Is it over? Yes, I think so. Yeah, but the sediment that has now come up in uh covered the sky is gonna really fuck with the weather for a good few years probably what I saw. Mm. not again I can't see Donna? oh What's wrong? 
Oh. That's where that came from. Got something on his shoulder there. Got yourself a nice little tattoo. Show me. What is that? It looks like some kind of symbol. I did this suddenly. And so it begins. Selection and rejection. Excuse me. Um. Excuse me, who the fuck are you? Oh boy. So, uh, hmm. Hmm. Who the f Where did you come from? Took the words right out of my mouth, Olga. Way to be there. There rests the true purpose of the great tree, unknown to even the children waiting. What? All those clothes and no shoes. So who the fuck is this clown? Who the fuck is this clown? Hello there. I'm Adol. I am a prophet. That's not all. I about fell on my ass when I found out a meteor formed that chasm. Guess that mystery is solved now. But why would we see that here? It's a good question. Donna. Oh no. What about oh. Donna? She's gone. What do you mean she's gone? The fuck are you talking about? She's gone. Don't tell me she's trying to go do something by herself without the power of friendship behind her. Because that wouldn't be great. It's so interesting that the ancient people were wiped out by the meteors and not the dinosaurs. Uh, not exactly. It wasn't the meteors that killed them. It was the, the months and years of starvation and ice age that came later. <laughs> Probably. I bet it was slow and painful. You know, kind of like what happened to the dinosaurs. Maybe Donna left to see that robed person. Maybe she did. Well, I don't know. Donna's been around this whole time. Maybe the robed person has also... Gu guys, have some fucking imagination. There's living dinosaurs and also a time-traveling, like, chosen maiden thing. All right? Can we maybe believe that maybe this robed person is fucking around somewhere? Maybe? I mean, there was a ghost ship. Like, come on. <laughs> it's, it's always so funny how in, like, fantasy or even, like, sci-fi kind of stories that have these kind of, like, crazy technologies or magic or whatever to, like, see what specific thing the people within the context of the story don't believe, right? It's like, no, that can't be possible. It's like, are you fucking kidding? I can conjure flames out of my fingers. <laughs> how, it, how is whatever that is not possible? Come on now. Hmm. But I want you to focus on escaping this island with the others for their sake. No, 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 no. We do not leave our friends behind, Donna. Welcome to the club. You are part of the community. The community looks after each other. 
Live together, die alone. You are part of the together. And I want to know what happened to the kingdom of eternity. But... It's how this goes, man. Donna was worried. No, she's more the kind of person that's like, oh, I don't want to trouble them. Let me go wander off. Deal with my own problems. <sighs> when will they learn? When will RPG characters learn? Yes. No person is an island. <laughs> I mean, we're on an island. But none of us are an island. Valley of Kings. Guess we're gonna go there. To go through the mountain gate at the Temple of the Great Tree. Alright. Then I guess that's where we're gonna go. Gotta see if we have any side quests to do. Um, let's see. Well, first of all, let's check the bulletin board. Yes, we do. We've got to hunt Valkyra. So that's a thing. Um, also, I want to see... Let me go visit Shoebill. Because I want to double check what fish we still need to give to Shoebill. We need to give... We did these. We need this one. The Goliathus. All the way down... We gave this one already, and the Grand Angler, so it's... Yeah. And we did the Bull Dart, too, actually. So, okay. Let's... Let me look at the journal. Here's fishing. Alright. So, Ancient Abyss is Pan Pangaea Plains Estuary at night, so we can't do that yet. Did those three. This one is Path of the Ocean Era. That's late game. Sky Garden, that's also late game. Solitude Island, that's late game. Ladinia Marshland, I think that's where we might be going soon. Solitude Island, Dino 6, we already did. Alright, so there's nothing that we can get now that we haven't already gotten. Alright, but we need to keep on the lookout. Solitude Island, for sure. When we get the option to go there, there's two things there. But then also, this GOLs is in the Lodinia Marshland Swamp. So that's good to know. Um, we could also probably upgrade our weapons again, but I don't know that we really need to do that right now. I think we're probably in the clear for that. Um, nothing else really going on at camp, I don't believe. We might be able to get away with showing the map. Can we get a new reward from this? No, we cannot. Okay, how about fuck you, dude? How about Judgey McJudgerson over here? You didn't do much. I've explored like 70-something percent of this island. Man, what have you done? The shit is this. Alright. Alright, let's do this. The other thing we could probably do, I'm gonna guess we could probably fight Master Kong again. And then also, if we can go back to the past... Which it looks like we probably can. Uh, we can. We have this new form for Donna, and in all likelihood, we can do more of the uh, that dungeon thing. Where? 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 <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I miss where? Where, though? Northwestern Swamp. Oh, we haven't been there yet. Oh, here. Okay. Alright, then I guess... Then I guess we're gonna go here. Just the summit? Where's the summit? Summit. Alright, let's check out this. Where's, where's my guy over here? There's my guy. Hey, dude. You good? I, I didn't mean to attack you. Hey, hey, dude, can we train? Next, I will train the girl with the delicious mango-colored hair. 
Um, there is no other girl with delicious mango-colored hair, so it's got to be you, Luxia. Yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to do that. Here we go. 1v1, Loxia solo fight against this fucking guy again. Well, he's doing big stuff. Nope, nope, no, 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 no. Don't punch me with your infinite fists. No, ow. Okay, well, the, fuck that. Don't care for that very much. Hell yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Damn it. <laughs> Did a little too good there. Okay, fuck that. Come on now. That's some ass. Alright, he's gonna do infinite punchy punch now, again. Don't infinite punchy punch. Okay. Is that just not dodgeable? Is that what it is? Or is the timing just really, really specific? I don't know. So I get the sense that that has to be jumped over because I never seem to be able to dodge it. All right, we're close to being able to do the like the super attack, the limit break, Mystic Art, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> S Craft. Yeah, that has to. That has to. You have to jump over that. There's no way. I've tried to dodge that my whole life, and it never seems to work. Alright. Eat Stabby Sword. That was okay. There it goes. Honestly, there comes there comes a point where I like I almost don't even bother trying to dodge because I just know it's not going to work. And I think I think there are undodgeable attacks. I just don't know which ones they are. And I don't know if I'm just failing to dodge them or if they're just undodgeable. Because sometimes it's definitely timing for me sometimes. But other times, I'm pretty sure I got the timing right, and it still doesn't work. And then I wonder if... Am I dodging in vain or not? I don't know. So I jumped over that completely, and it still didn't matter. But that, I didn't think I dodged that. That's, and that that's the weird thing, is it, it just feels inconsistent, because that, I definitely did not think I dodged. I, I thought my timing on that was totally off. So I don't know, man. I don't know. So we're gonna spam. We're gonna spam the button, and see what happens. That's dope, though. That's a pretty bitchin' move. Hey, buddy. That's four out of six, I think. Meet again on the planes that stretch forever. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing I don't have to actually try to figure out what that means, because it'll just show up on my map. Hey, I guess it's here. But, as usual, he almost certainly is not, uh, not in the mood to fight me so soon after that. So let's head back here. I'm gonna restock on some items. Maybe. And then how we how we doing, bud? Can I brew anything? Or I do have bottles. Okay, good. Um, what do I want to use? I don't really need revival because I never let anybody die. 
That's decent, but it's not really that important. This would actually be pretty useful. You know what? I'm just going to get two of these. Here you go. Please take care. So I feel like when it's important, like in battles that matter, I'm going to want to be able to just like buff up my my extra gauge. That sounds useful. Now, I, I don't have Donna with me. I'm kind of hesitant to... Oh, I forgot about... We have the extra flamestone. Yeah, this makes sense then, since we have extras. All right. Um, takes four Saurian scales. Uh, we've got f five, so even with a sixth, we should be fine. We should have plenty. Leave it to me. All right, let's do it. I mean, if we want to be really cautious, we can just get get it for the ones that we're using. But I like to equip everybody. And then let's upgrade everybody's weapon. Five essence stones. It's gonna start getting expensive. We're gonna have to start grinding stuff out. We can exchange uh, with Dina. We will be able to exchange. Um, it's complete. What do you call it? Materials for other materials. Leave it to me. But we're not there yet. It's complete. Don't need that yet. Nice. Is that it? All right. So everybody is buffed up a little bit. Got some new weapons. The only other side quest we have is in a place we haven't been to yet. So I think it's time to uh, move on forward. The only other thing do I want to try going back into the past and fiddling with Donna's stuff, if it lets me. I think we should maybe try that. Can we go here is the Ruins of Eternia. Let me go here. I just want to see if it'll let me do it. Touch the crystal. It does let me do it. Okay. And I think it is worth... Probably worth... At least going back to the one, um, that I finished, but, yeah, instead of, like, going on to the third floor, there, I know that we can do more in the second floor, right? Wait, I mean, where's the mm, area map? That's what I want. There we go. Um, okay, so there's... No, this isn't right. Wide map? Yeah, here we go. There's this. This is what I'm thinking of. Okay. That's what I want to do something about. Alright, so we got these guys, and I can fight these guys. I'm not really super, super worried about them. It's kind of not necessary. We could just kind of zoom past, but I want to scoop up all these, like, essence stones or essence fragments or whatever. Just in case I want to buy some, uh, what do you call them? Medicines that I've used up against that dinosaur dude. Stop. Wrong button. Wrong button. Wrong button. Okay. Okay. Chill out, bud. Chill out. Need you to relax. Um, there we go. Alright, so I don't have to do any of these puzzles, I don't think. I think we're, like, we're good. I just need to get up. Is it... the? Ne it's the next room. Okay. Alright, so we need to reset this now that we're here. Resets those stairs. And then what we need to do is in the next room we need to get, like, up to the top. And from there, uh, I think the the new form that we have 
gives us the ability to get where we need to go, I think. I have to see. It lets me jump farther, I think it does. I think. We'll find out. And if it doesn't, then... Boo! Well, we know not to do that next time. We know not to do that next time. We get to the top. That's all I gotta do. Get to the top. Okay, so we leave that. Wait. Eh. What, what, what? What am I, what, what? <laughs> I'm missing something obvious here. What? <laughs> oh. I didn't do that. Oh my god. Okay. What? Never mind. We're fine. All right. So how? Oh. Okay. Hold on. I think I know what I'm doing now. We need to go in here and then loop back around. I think that's what it is. So we could have just warped here. Oh wait. No. Eh. Alright, let's just see if we can make this jump then. Oh, for fuck's sake, what? <laughs> um, well, that's a thing. Now, part of me wonders if I could have just done that from the beginning. <laughs> Did I need this form? For whatever reason, I thought I needed this form. I guess, I guess not. I don't know. Doesn't matter. We open the door. Door has now been opened. And we can make our way in here to... Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh, boy. Um, alright. So this is... If I remember what this is... This is a thing where the door closes every time I break a thing, so I have to really carefully think about what I want to break. So I think we break this one. Damn it! It broke two. It wasn't supposed to break two, it was only supposed to break one. Let's reset, try that again, and only break one. Can we maybe break just the top one? There we go, okay. So this lets me get over here. Now... Break this one. So we can get in. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. Okay. Um, we can break. That should be alright, right? Break that one, and break this one, and then the door is... 
Does that close the door completely? It does. Okay. So that doesn't work. Alright, so we need to do it somehow where we're only breaking three. Alright. So if we go this way. There's three there. That's not going to work. That's not what I want to do. Stop, 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 stop. So we can only break f three of them. I can't jump forward from here. Yeah, there's no way to like... That's annoying. Alright. So going that way doesn't make any sense. So it's got to be this way to start with. Breaking this doesn't help in any way. Breaking this one does seem to. But... If we break that one... That doesn't really do much. Oh, okay, hold on. I have a possible idea. Possible idea. Possible idea. Let's try that. And this again. But now I want to do this one. And then I can jump up here. There we go. Yup. Nailed it. Dervish hairpin. What does that do? What does that do? Oh. Oh, defense down. Uh, eh. 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 No need for that. Alright. Sweet, so that should finish out this whole floor. This whole floor now should be 100%. I guess we might as well go in and, and do... Uh, open up the next floor. I think that makes sense to do. Um, where's, where's, my, uh, where's my friendly salesperson? Probably at the start of the next floor, right? Yeah, probably. Alright, we have enough virtue to open this door. We should. Assuming we're in the right timeline. Mm hmm. Perfect. Should be a monolith. There should be. Should be. Alright. Oh. Chamber of Clairvoyance. Jeez. All right, where's where's my um where's my salesperson? I guess like all the way back at the beginning. 
I guess that's okay. We can we can conceivably go back there and do some stuff, but I'm not I'm not worrying too much about it right now. Essence fragment times fifty, hell yeah. You take those. I'll come back up in a minute. I just want to see what else is down here. Alright, so there's a door up ahead on the floor and a door up on the top. Hell yeah. Alright, so we're down here. Let's start down here, I guess. Rude. Rude. Where you at? What am I what am I targeting? Hey guys, wanna fuck around? This big batch of dudes. All think they can take me. But they can't. Alright, I definitely want to clear out enemies first. Definitely seems like a good idea to clear out enemies. We've got more fire nonsense. But having these enemies around is definitely going to be a menace. Hell yeah. Alright. That's a lot of dudes. <laughs> A lot of dudes, but they go down quick. They do go down quick. They're not particularly strong, which is helpful. This guy, on the other hand, is a pain in the ass. Break. Level up. Hi, dude. You're big. You're big and scary. Don't care for how big and scary you are. But you're poisoned, though. See, this style is interesting because it's like kind of like a big onslaught. And you just kind of relentlessly attack, and they just can't really do much. So that's kind of cool. See? Could you not? It'd be super cool if you could not. Instead of doing that, it'd be great if you could not do that. See? Just keep going. Just keep stabbing. Don't stop stabbing. Do not stop stabbing. Yeah, so this room's fucking big. In case you didn't, like, catch that. It's fucking big. It's pretty fucking big. Well, don't shoot fire. Shooting fire is mean. All right. I think I may have cleared all the enemies out, at least of the, like, like this down area, right? I think I may have done that. Possible I've done that. There's enemies up on the top area, but I'm not super concerned. What I need to do is I need to figure out how we're going to do this fire puzzle. So there's a fire here that we need to put out. And there's a fire on the other side. The problem, though, is... Figuring out... How to make it from one side to the other fast enough. This doesn't do anything for me. 
so as not to like get fucked up, right? Like, cause we need to be able to put out the fires before the fires, before the the bird things like relight them. Okay, can I break this? There we go. All right, so we got this. This is like a stairway, which is good. We can go ahead and get this treasure. We like that. We do like that. There's the other fire. So somehow we need to get to these fires. I'm gonna do the same thing here. There we go. So we, no, well that doesn't matter. That's fine. Um. Okay. So we've got this, and we've got this. So we can do here, and then when we do that, we kind of make a beeline. Obviously, we want to do, like, this one. Just kind of do this beeline here. Now, we can't get up that way, so we don't want to... We want to... Oh, yeah, we can. Never mind. Okay. So... That's the path. we got to be quick about it. I think we can do it. Oh, it's gotta be. It's gotta be this. There we go. Sweet. That wasn't too bad. That wasn't too bad at all. Now, there's still, like, a whole lot more of this room. There's the upstairs part, which we can come back and do. I'm gonna go on ahead. But we can come back and do that. Later. And there's actually even more to it than that. And for some reason, I feel like we can't... Whatever it is, we can't do it yet. You got a big-ass shield. I bet your shield doesn't appreciate my big-ass hammer. Having me it is mean and nasty. I will not tolerate it. These fucking dudes, man, they're so They're so oh god. Why though? Why? Why must we do this? <laughs> Why must we? I don't think for some reason. I say for some reason. The reason is, I played this game before, and I have vague memory. That's the reason. <laughs> so when I say for some reason, please understand, I know what the reason is. Um, but for some reason, I feel like we can't do this in its entirety right now. Because I believe... When I say entirety, I mean, like, we, I think we can get through this room, but I don't think we can do, like, the extra stuff. So, for some reason, I feel like there's another upgrade we get. It's not another style, but I think there's another upgrade we get. That will allow us to do something that we need to do in order to finish this room. I just don't remember exactly what or when. Uh, okay. So, yeah, these things. Fuck you. Can I not kill these guys? Maybe I can. Can I? I can. Is it because of this style? Maybe maybe getting this style is what I needed. And I'm just misremembering from... I don't know. Alright, let's just kind of... Try some stuff out. So there's a bunch of treasure chests. I want to try to get all of them. Just for completion. Alright, here we go. We can go in here. For some reason, I vaguely remember not being able to kill those guys. Those, like, little flower things on the blocks. 
I think maybe I need this style to do it. And maybe I came in here before having this style. That could be what it is. I don't know. I don't know. Here's, here's the cool thing. It doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> I don't need to remember. I don't actually need to remember. That's the cool part. So it's really not that big a deal. Okay. So there's more treasures. Like, we can definitely go to the end here. Alright. So, hmm. Do this. That could take a while. There we go. That'll do it. That's probably not great. Probably needed a few of those to stay intact. Yeah, I think so. I think I did. Alright. Let's, uh... Let's reset that. Let's reset that. Okay. Okay. So we in order to get up, we need this one down. How did I get up before? I did this. That's what I did. Okay. And then... Uh-huh. We remove that one. And that one. That one. And this one. And then we can do this, and then this, and then this. And then this. Okay. Okay. So that takes care of that, and then we can go here, we can go over here and get this. So there's one more treasure chest, and then there's an, still another path that way to go to. So this is where things get a little iffy. There's the treasure chest. Alright, so let's try going over here. Can we do anything this way? Hmm. Well, we don't really need this for anything right now. Let's take this out. What does that do for me? Uh-huh. Let's take one of these out also. Okay, stop. <laughs> Careful where you're swinging that hammer. Okay, then we can get up here. Oh, hi. Okay, yikes. Yeah, it is this, because this guy was kind of invis- not invisible, but like translucent. When I'm in a- yeah, when I'm in a different form. But it becomes physical when I'm in this form. That's totally what it was. I remember now. Alright. Well, we've learned that. Okay. This treasure chest is... There. Alright, so an easy way to do it... <clears throat> is to do this, and then we just break this one. That gets us the treasure chest. But, that might lock us out of getting up there. Let's see. Can we do anything here? We can do that. No, shit. That's not what I want. No. Alright, I think we have to... Yeah, I think we have to reset again. The good thing is we don't have to do all that stuff on the other side. 
At least we shouldn't. Shouldn't have to. Shouldn't have to. We should be okay to just kind of do this. Which I think, what did we do? Just that. And then one of these. Okay. So we did that, we did that, and then that, and then that. And then we need only one of these gone. Because we need this as a staircase. Oh, we're not. <sighs> there we go. Okay. We definitely needed that. But what do we do with it? I'm not sure. What do we do with that information? I don't know yet. But we needed to do it. Alright, so that gives us a path that goes directly there. We just have to get on the other side of that. How do we get on the other side of that? Up here somehow. Okay, so I lied. We do have to do this side. We do have to do this side. It's gotta come down. All this for, like, a treasure chest that's not going to matter. <laughs> like, we we're, we realize that, right? It's going to be for a treasure chest that we don't care about. But it's the principle of the thing, man. Not that way. Not that way. Now that we're up here, okay, yep, there it is, okay, we did it, like here's the thing, I already got the trophy <laughs> for opening all the treasure chests, so like I don't need that, we got a battle wristlet, is that worth it, is that really worth it, battle wristlet strength plus 20? Was it? I don't know if it was. <laughs> but I need the completion. I need the map completion or else I'll lose my damn mind. Alright, so I'm going to assume that we need... this style for the boss fight here. I'm going to assume that. It feels reasonable. What do we have? Argura, the honed silver blade. Wahoo. All right, so are you weak to this? You're not. You're weak to my regular form. Okay. I can I can work with that. That's that's no problem for me. I got no problem with that. Let's go for it early. <clears throat> Do big damage and hopefully by the end of the battle, which I doubt, but by the end of the battle maybe we'll have enough to do it again. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button twice in a row. Okay. Oh, you got a big shield now. I see. I know what I must do. Don't ram me. That's rude. Stop ramming me. Did you not hear what I said? I said it is rude. Up. Take 
Oh, hell yeah. Rude. <laughs> Alright, cool. Big damage, big damage. Big ol' damage. We do big damage here. Don't do that. Whatever that is, don't do it. Oh, we like that, though. We do like that. That we do like. Alright, now what? I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest there, I didn't dodge that. <laughs> I don't know how it gave me that dodge. It I, that was not warranted. I did not dodge that in time. So maybe my understanding of the dodge window is just really off. Cause I was way late on that dodge and it told me I dodged. And a lot of times I think I dodge and it tells me I don't dodge, so maybe I need to try to dodge later than I think I do. Okay, why are we doing the shield again? The shield is really unnecessary, buddy. Come on. Why are you being obnoxious? You could just not be obnoxious. Instead of being obnoxious, have you have you tried possibly not doing that? I would much prefer... Okay, fuck you. Actually, though... Actually, fuck you. I know I'm doing big slow attacks that take a while. I know that. But I have to in order to destroy the shield. So, I don't appreciate you using that against me. It's not very polite. As a sitting duck. Alright, he's got so little health left. Don't do that. 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 Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Ow. Ow. Hell yeah. There we go. That should, that should finish it off, right? There we go. We're good. We got treasure. What is my treasure? What treasure have I acquired? Stone of Antiquity? What does that card do? Oh. Okay. Okay. We take that. We sure do take that. That's uh that's grand. Here it is. A monolith with Eternia's lost history. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's learn. Let's fucking learn. <sighs> Story time. Story time with Donna. There will always be those who in the presence of glory seek to claim it for themselves. Thus did weaker nations seek to wage war against Eternia and usurp its golden age for themselves. So this is where I want to like clarify. I, I believe all of these weaker nations, when we say nations, I think we're still just on the island. I think all this stuff is just on the island. With its essence and its powerful military, Eternia was in no is was in no danger of falling. I don't think this is any nations outside the island. I think this is just all within the island. Which is interesting because if there are other nations on the island, or if there were, none of them left any ruins. Only Eternia had ruins. So it's interesting, and I think the reasoning for that, other than just convenience, <laughs> game design convenience, 
I believe the reasoning for that is Eternia, the Eternians built that city. I don't think the other quote unquote nations built this, like these massive cities. I think that's the justification there. Civilian casualties mounted along Eternia's borders, threatening the peace and security of the people. Amidst the fog of war, one man stepped forth and ensured his place in Eternia's history. Uranus. <clears throat> Though he appeared to be an unassuming traveler, he possessed calm essence and a powerful will that could withstand any hardship. Uranus was a peaceful man above all else. He preached uh, his word to all who would hear, tended to the poor, and healed the sick. Whilst traveling through a region ravaged by war, Uranus was set upon by bandits. A young woman believed to be the leader drew her sword from its sheath. As she made ready to cut him down, Uranus, ever tranquil, said thusly, Wrath will not calm your wrath. You need not feel wrath. You need not feel fear. Embrace tranquility. Only when you abandon wrath can you walk a new path. She did not understand Uranus at first, probably because he was talking in rhymes, and that was really annoying. But when his meaning dawned on her, she wept. Thus did the bandit leader become his disciple and traveling companion. With each passing day, Uranus drew more disciples. Even the beasts of the earth began to follow him. With his tranquil demeanor, he later became known as the Saint of Salvation for his role in saving the people of Eternia from a great cataclysm. Interesting. St. Urianus, he was very important to the establishment of the kingdom, and he saved Eternia from a cataclysm. He sounds as wonderful as history suggests. Converted a bandit leader into one of his disciples, even animals followed him. What a fascinating man. <laughs> Why are you here, small child? How did you get down here? Tried my best to be super sneaky and follow you around this time. This was so funny that I just couldn't help myself. Hmm. <laughs> Oops. Hmm. And you're so interested in the history of Eternia, huh? Well... These records are genuine, then they contain lost history. Like you said, this could be the truth of the past, and that might lead me to the answers I seek. Indeed. Can you say you were looking for something? It's been a while since then. Have you found it yet? Mm, I don't know, have I? I think I might have found it, but maybe I haven't. All right, well, here's the thing. What is the purpose of talking in riddles? <laughs> In fact, it might be better if I don't find it just yet. I don't understand, and quite frankly, I kind of don't give a shit, because other important things are happening, like, you know, the end of civilization and stuff, so... <laughs> Examine the monolith, so I should head back now. <laughs> You're in trouble. Just remember to have chores to do at home. Bye. <laughs> All right. Well, we have completed this floor, which is quite good. I wasn't really expecting to do that today, but seemed like a good opportunity to do it. So we take those. But now we got to go through the marshland, so I think we're going to do that. Oh, wait. Actually... Actually, let's go back to the entrance here because we need to go up to the upper floors. We haven't gone this way yet. I'm not totally sure. How do I... How do I? 
I don't remember how I do this. Oh shit. Well, we're down here again. Um, huh. What do I do up here? I know there's more to this. I don't remember how I get up. So you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Yeah. Trapped. Trapped. How do I get out of here? Oh, this way. This way. This is how I get out of here. Yeah, I don't remember how I get what I do up on the top floors there. Like, there, there's something I'm supposed to do. I just don't remember what it is. I'm not going to worry about it now. Let's bail out of here. And then, uh, actually, I want to talk to you. And we can buy some medicine. I don't think I need any of this stuff. Buy some medicine. Yeah, let's just buy a few of these. Like, get up to ten, that's fine. Okay, cool. And then we can just bail out. Also, we haven't saved in a while, so maybe we should do that too. I feel like it's been half the stream and we haven't saved, so let's... Let's do ourselves a save. Let's, let's go ahead and do ourselves a do ourselves a little, little little bit of save there. Let's just do a little save. Do a little save, and we'll do cross era. Bail out of this. And now, and now, what we can do is we can go back to the world map. Hold on, area map. Oh. Yeah, that's that locked treasure chest that we don't know how to open. Okay. So, if we go to the world map, <clears throat> we need to go here, which I believe we can do from here. Yeah. Temple approach. This takes me inside the temple, right? No, this is, this is the other side. Okay, this is where I want to be. Alright, so we want to go out the top. And this will allow me to go, yeah, cutscene. Mountain gate is up ahead. Once we pass through it, we can head west of the capital. Something on your mind. How's it going, Kid Stevens? Still here smoking random animals for no other reason than being hostile. <laughs> kind of. Things have gotten a little, uh... A little crispier, but um, we have defeated the Okeanus, which is our main obstacle to getting off the island. Um, we still need to rebuild the ship, so we need to do that. But also, we have Donna in our world, and um, she's having some memory issues, and she ran off on her own, so we gotta go find her. And uh, it seems like there's some other important stuff going on in the background that kind of seems like... There's no need to make her feel better. Gross. Her past is irrelevant. She's our friend. We need to go help her. We don't leave people behind. Hoping to figure out Donna's past and then give her the perfect piece of advice. I think that's what she was trying to do. <laughs> I know. I know it's Dana, but it's they say Donna, so it's Donna. It's a weird one. Had a lot of fun. Keep trudging along. Let's do it. That's right. Uncouth. Come on now. All right, so it's time to trudge through the marsh, I think. Which I believe is a place where we can get a new fish, which is good because we need to we need to feed the bird. We haven't feed, fed the bird in a while. <clears throat> Nearby event points. Do we have it? Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> That's a lot of question marks. All right, what is this? Oh, the monastery. Huh. 
Oh, right. I think we are going to be able to go, like, back in there. All right. Let's actually go to the part of the map that we're trying to get to first. Let's do that. And then from here, we can see we've got a couple of question marks. So let's just get through this part of the map and then reassess once we uh, once we get to the next area. We got enemies. We got new enemies. Hi, hello. All right, there's something right in front of me. Can we climb this? No, I need to. I need to re-equip. What is this? Yeah, we don't need to breathe underwater right anymore, for the time being. So we're good here. We have oh, 21 people was it? <sighs> Need one more person. One more person. I think up there is just yeah. There's a question mark thing. So all right. We need to find another castaway. I think we're we're almost out of castaways. We rescued almost everybody. Although now we're especially down because we don't have Donna. Did we rescue Tom Hanks and Wilson yet? No, haven't found them. I think they might be on a different island. But we have rescued people we didn't even know we needed to rescue. People who were already on the island. Like our new friend Rakota over here. But I believe if we have, um, I think we have 20 people. I think there's a total of 24. So, we're close to having everybody. And that reminds me, I think there's something I can go back and do. Back where we fought the Okeanos. Which, once I, once I get through this part and get to the next crystal, I'll probably could just go do that, because I'm thinking of it right now. Hey there. Stop attacking me, it's rude. But yeah, the landscapes have gotten a lot more, uh... Mesozoic, <laughs> for lack of a better word. And the animals have gotten a lot more, like... Dinosaur -y. This side of the island is much more in the past than the other side. Ow, stop. The random tank animals. It's it's a little better now because we have like really strong weapons and stuff, so the things that are tankier aren't that big of a deal. Um, but yeah, there's there's still the occasional big dude that kind of stops the momentum. All right, we need uh, we need yeah we need you for for this guy. That guy's weak to pierce attacks. All right, so we did that. We did that. Now we're just going this way. All right. Oh boy. There's a lot of red dots on this map. <laughs> Holy God. Getting swarmed over here. Good thing I have a very spammable attack that does a lot of damage. Ow. Oh, I'm dying. Oh. Oh, are you gonna be you're gonna be the new pain in the ass? Take this. Kill and eat that annoying rich dude. He's, I mean, he's dead. He is dead. He was taken out by the serial killer. He was taken out by the serial killer, and, uh, oh yeah, there was a serial killer. <laughs> um, he technically wasn't killed by the serial killer. He was, like, 
the fear of God was put into him by the serial killer. And he attempted to flee the island and got killed by the Okeanos. Worth noting, though, we never found a body. So. Taken out by a serial killer. <laughs> Yeah, there was a, it was weird. There's There's been a couple of arcs in this game that are interesting, but ultimately kind of uh, not super relevant. Like, the end result of them is important, but, like, the fact that there was a serial killer, like, there could have just not been a serial killer. We, we could have had the people die a different way, right? But, like, there was a sub-story about a serial killer that just... We found him. He was the doctor. And we killed him. And moved on with the story. <laughs> and there was another thing about a ghost ship. And we did the ghost ship, which was fine. But, like, ultimately, why was there a ghost ship? Because eh. there was. Yikes. Some powerful wind. My walls just shook. Okay, well, we've got more enemies here. Hi there! Oh, you're not that big and tanky. You're just big, you're not that tanky. That's refreshing. I don't mind big, as long as they're not tanky. Alright. So, where are we at here? Okay, we're about to move into the next area. That's good. So, if we can do... Marshland kind of sounds like very grass more stress get the story to stretch out. Yeah, kind of. Better random missions than a billion of the same missions over and over. That's true. This game definitely has it has a loop for sure. Um and from what I understand, my knowledge of these games is very limited. I've only played this one and then the uh, the first two. And the first two are really short because they're, like, from the 80s. Um, but my understanding is most Yeez games are on the shorter side. And this one was really kind of the first one that was, like, full JRPG length of, like, 60-plus hours. So, it doesn't surprise me that there's some stuff that kind of feels like it's stretching it a bit. There definitely could have been time saved. But how necessary is that? I don't know. It's still fun to play, right? So, And it does definitely beat just doing the same thing on a grind, for sure. Okay. Got ourselves a treasure chest. That's dope. We're gonna... I think we're gonna need to be able to walk on the water. So, I don't know how necessary it's gonna be to climb. So, we're probably gonna want to swap that for these. This area is quite big. If I remember correctly, there's some assholes on the bottom of the... under the water that we need to deal with. They're gonna be obnoxious. We'll see. Alright. Oh god. 
You're big. You're big? Why are you so big? Oh, you're the big tanky guy. I see. Ow. <laughs> that was a very badly timed dodge. You are so tanky. Holy hell. Okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do ourselves a little heal. Oh, good lord. Alright, you know what? Here's the thing. I don't have to. <laughs> I don't have to fight you, as it turns out. I can just run. He's still, he's still after me. All right, let's, um... Let's... Is he still chasing me? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. No, he's not. Okay. All right, I just want to fish, because I think there's a fishing spot here. And fishing would be good because there's an enemy, or not enemy, a, a fish in this spot. Do you usually play the games before I do a stream of playing? Usually I do, yeah. I tend to try to avoid uh, doing blind playthroughs on stream. For a couple of reasons. Number one, I, I used to do YouTube, and I found that blind playthroughs had worse commentary. Um, but also, like, with YouTube, I can do edits, but outside, ow, <laughs> outside of YouTube, if I'm doing live, I can't do edits, and if I can't do edits, then we could get, and I don't, I don't know what I'm doing, then we could be in a situation where, like, I'm stuck for a long time, and that's just not good content either. Um, the other thing is, too, I just like to kind of know, for planning purposes, kind of like what's go- I just died. What's, uh, going on? So I can, like, I don't want to get stuck doing something that, uh, I don't have time to finish. Alright, so he's down at the bottom. He's the guy I was thinking of as far as, like, obnoxious shit in the water. There's treasure chests in here, but there's, like, really annoying enemies. Let me, um... Let's take off the boots. That will let me sink under the water and go down. Oh, I need to be able to breathe. <laughs> also need to be able to breathe underwater. That would be helpful. Uh, yeah, we don't need those, so let's just go with this. There's a treasure chest. And then we got this fucking guy. I will go ahead and try to fight him. Let's fight him. That said, if it's like... If it's a game that I know isn't gonna be... Like, difficult. Or confusing or anything. Like, a new Pokemon game. I'll stream that without... I'll do that blind. That's not a problem. But for the most part, I like to try to play stuff ahead of time. Just to, and that'll that'll give me an idea if I like actually want to stream it or not. Because sometimes what I don't want to do is start something and not finish it. Okay, it's hard to dodge underwater because I'm very slow. I gotta remember that. Dude, this guy fucking sucks. <laughs> this guy really sucks. Good thing is, I think, it, yeah, I was going to say, I think uh, Rakota can freeze him. Oh my god. Eh. Ow. Really? 
Haley. Haley, stop knocking me over. That's rude. That's rude. This is rude and uncalled for. Watch you too close to playing the blueberry leaf and Pokemon Scarlet. Didn't go in blind. Yeah, how easy it was, but yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, it's Well the Pokemon too, that I I played when it first came out. So that was recorded content, which I don't usually do a lot of. Um I typically do just streams. But I wanted to do the, the Pokemon DLC, and I just never found a, a way to like slot it into the stream schedule, so I ended up just doing recorded content. But I had already played the Scarlet one when it first came out, so that was just a case of timing. If I would have streamed it, I probably would have done a blind. But by the time I got around to it, it was uh, yesterday's news. All right. Hopefully, I can do this without getting. Nope. You gonna you gonna ram me? No, you're you're just over there. Okay. There's a new fish that I can catch here. And I would like to get said new fish. Without people being obnoxious about it. Oh, this is promising. Are you the one? Awesome. I think you are. Yes, you are. Sweet. Cool. You got the new fish. Um, I don't care about fishing now that I have the new fish. I'm not going to try to fish. There's a lot of other fishing spots here, I think. But with the amount of aggro that I'm drawing, <laughs> I think it probably behooves me to just kind of get through here. Oh god, there's so many of these guys, man. Why there gotta be so many? Hi, dude. What's up? I would like to... There we go. Thank you. And I'm gonna run away. Because <laughs> I don't actually have to fight him. There's nothing says in the rules that I have to fight him. Alright, so... Hold on. That comes from... Hmm? Up there? Oh, over here. Okay. But... That takes me that takes me to a dead end, I think. All right, so I want to do that first. Let's do this first. I think I'm okay with that. All right. Is this This isn't where I came from, is it? It totally is. <laughs> it totally is. Okay. But that's fine, because I think I just did that whole area. And we should be good. And now I can go... If I jump back up here, bypass this guy. I think I want to go this way. Yeah, this feels right. I want to go this way. This should take me to where actual progress is. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Found it. And there's a crystal. Beautiful. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe, but this could also be a dead end. Sure we're going the right way? I'm certain of it. Well, this seems to be the only way we can go, so I'm pretty sure. Look. What's up, my dude? Got another one of these. Donna, we're here. She could point us in the right direction. Well, maybe we don't need Donna to be here. Maybe we can uh, figure it out on our own. Does Donna have to see another bad memory? Memories are from the past, but she's with us now, so she can leave the island with us. That's okay, right? 
uh, if she wants to. Yeah, that guy is the job of delivering. Ever open that box? Yep. He was delivering pickles to Rakota's father, and also a schematic on how to build a ship. And we just don't ask questions about how he knew he was going to end up on the island. I think the whole thing was meant to kind of be a comic relief moment, but it's kind of weird. It's funny, but yeah, that's what it was. We did come for you, Donna, because you're part of the team, and we don't leave our friends behind. Pickles in a ship schematic. Yeah, but because of that, we now have a way to build a ship. Do you hate us now? Of course she doesn't hate us. You've been such a help to us, Donna. Now it's our turn to help you. Let us help you regain your I, memories. I, I didn't realize they were talking. <laughs> Thank you. For, this is something I need to do on my It's the one bad part about not using like headphones and actually just sitting here in front of my television. <laughs> is that in order to not have the sound from my television get picked up on my microphone and have a weird echo. I have to keep the volume really low, and sometimes I can't tell when they're actually talking. The Scarlet Vision. Scarlet Vision. Of the events I foresee varies depending on their hue. A Scarlet Vision portends events that will come to pass that cannot be avoided. Then, yes. I saw a scarlet vision of the future after we defeated the Okeanus. And in that vision... So a ship schematic that is so simple it could be crafted by random people on an island. Either the world's most convenient thing, or the dude who sent that package should be investigated for getting y'all stranded on the island. Well, the part... I mean, luckily, we were already on a ship. <laughs> he sent you with a simple boat schematic, so I guess it helped. We were already on a ship, so we can use most of that ship to probably build the other ship. So hopefully that will make things a bit easier. So don't worry about me. The sooner you get off this island, the better. Donna, we're not leaving without figuring out what your deal is. Okay. You're part of the group now. Huh? What do you mean? That all's right. One way or another, we'll part ways. That ain't true just for you. Any one of us could say that. <laughs> Once we get off of this island, we're all gonna go back to the lives we had before we met. That's correct. But we're still gonna cherish that we even met in the first place. That is correct. At least that's what we're all thinking, deep down in the bottom of our hearts. And I think... You're thinking the same thing too, Donna. Yes, but my circumstances are different from yours. Are they? No, they're not. Huh? We're all strangers who found ourselves cast away on this island. But despite our differing origins and stations, we banded together for the sake of survival. Yes, your circumstances may differ somewhat, Donna. But if you put those circumstances aside, you'll see that you're a castaway like the rest of there us. There you go. She's got a point. <laughs> Just because you got here a lot longer before we did doesn't mean you didn't, you know, you know. Breaks my heart to hear you say you're different from the rest of us. Adol, everyone, as we spent more time together... I started to wish that I could stay with you all, but I knew that wish could never come true. So I ran away, to spare you all the trouble. And why do you care about us so much? But why would you say that? You can rely on us. Power of friendship. That's right. You may have been in a position in which others had to rely on you. But we're all castaways here. So let's rely on each other for support. <laughs> Thank you. 
I understand. If we are destined to part ways, I want to accept that destiny with a smile and be true to myself when I bid you all farewell. That's why I need to know who I really am. Adol, everyone, please help me restore my memories. We are so going to help you. I mean, it's not like we can't get off the island until we finish building the boat anyway, so we've got like a few weeks to kill. I don't know how much help we'll end up being, but we'll do whatever we can. The Tobaldo always pays their debt in full, no matter what. Yeah. I too have decided to see this through with everyone. We're all in this together, Donna. Yes. Thank you so much. All right, well, now that that is resolved and Donna's back with us. That cloaked figure told me to go to the Valley of Trees just up ahead. I don't know what hardship awaits me there. I just know that I must overcome it. Donna of the past, lend me your strength. What are we going to find in the Valley of the Kings? Sounds kind of spooky. Oh, we got snow. Hey, let us through, please. Where do you think you're going with all that stuff? Evacuating. Where? Anywhere but here. We haven't seen the sun in days, and the earthquakes and volcanic eruptions have yet to stop. We can't live like this anymore. We need to go somewhere safe. Just let us pass. You have no right to stop us. Uh. Number of residents evacuating keeps rising. Where do they think they're gonna go, though? Falling stars' impacts cause a chain reaction of other calamities, including volcanic eruptions and tsunamis. Furthermore, the dust and smoke blanketing the sky are causing abnormal weather. Yeah, that's, you know, that's how that goes. It's gonna usher in an ice age. Haven't seen Sarai since the palace was struck. Must know the true purpose of the great tree that not even the maidens knew about. I don't know what the secret could be, but one way or another, I must learn it. Members of the royal family are entombed in the Valley of Kings. Access is restricted. It, it, it's... Dude. Really? <laughs> look... Look up. The world is ending. Are we really gonna, like, require ID to get into buildings and stuff? Come on, now. My future self asked me to do this. Uh-huh. I see. Snow this time of year. Yeah, well, get used to it. Just because the sun is being blocked out, uh, I believe that would be a factor. Valley of Kings holds some secret about the Great Tree, then it's possible it's Sarai... A member of the royal family knew that secret all along. So I must see it for myself. Maybe I should go with you. You're not a party member. You can't come with me. It's not allowed. You have to do administrative things. I. Let's um. Let's do a save. Do ourselves a save. Alright. Now we're going to the Valley of Kings. It's been a raid on Pokemon Go. New playable about Donna. This is Donna. This is past Donna. So we've had playable segments in the past. And then Donna, um, like... Somehow, we don't know how yet, um, kind of preserved herself 
to be found in the present. And we found her in the present, and she doesn't have all of her memories. And <clears throat> we've been exploring the uh, um, ruins of the city that she's from. And we need to kind of learn how the Eternian civilization, like, ended. We're kind of getting a sense of it now. Seems it had to do with a big-ass meteor. Falling and kind of causing a new ice age. But, in the past, there was a hooded figure that told her to go to the Valley of the Kings for some reason. And we don't know why, so we're going there to find out why. And all of this is kind of happening as, like, we're building the ship. So we've got time on our hands <laughs> before we, before the ship's ready to leave the island. So we're basically saying, all right, well, Donna's our friend now, so we might as well help her regain her memories while we have the ability to do that. What's going on here, guys? There's a, there's a mark on my map. Where is she? Maybe a wild Saurian? No, that's ridiculous. What's up? My daughter Yuka went missing. Oh, well, that's bad. She's training to be an essence equipment craftsman, and despite her bratty attitude... <laughs> really? <laughs> she, made a ma she actually made a masterpiece the other day. Uses essence to create an eye in the sky that can view the surrounding area. I believe Yuka was using it before she ran away from the capital. Interesting. She always acts on her own, never tells us anything. Alright, well, we gotta go find your daughter then. We got a new quest. Alright, do we have anywhere on the map? Yeah, it's just right over there. Okay. That works for me. Uh, this is back where I came from, so we want to go this way. Hopefully I remember, but wasn't Donna like an ancient person? Yeah. So, she is of the Eternians, who are the people who lived in the past. And... She... Somehow... We found her in the ruins of the, the her, her temple. Like, in a tree. So somehow she, like, preserved herself for a lot of time. She doesn't remember how she did it, and we haven't been given that information yet. Can she leave the island? Who knows? Don't really see a reason why not, but... Don't know. Hello there, are you the missing child? You the daughter of the craftsman that makes the essence equipment? You're not... Yeah, you didn't get very far. Your uh, parents are really worried about you. Medicinal herb. Cliffhanger on our story to induce future streams. <laughs> Need my father worrying about me. He barely has to work to make high quality essence equipment, so he gets to do whatever he wants without a care in the world. Guys, the world is ending. Let's like let's be cool about it. Alright? Go home. <laughs> Stop being a brat. Tell your family you love them and try to, you know, work this out together. Thank you, Yuka. <laughs> Nothing like him. <laughs> there you go. 
There you go. If you're in the capital, you can take whatever you want from our home. O is your house. Would your house happen to be the place with the treasure chest that is locked? Here we go. Treasure chest key. All right. Sweet. Some people still have hope. They're the ones we're fighting for. The virtue has increased. That unlocks the next level of the dungeon, right? Yeah. Indeed. All right. Well, we will get to that at some point. I'm not going to concern myself with it at the moment. So let's keep on keeping on. Got more story to do. Go back this way. Uh, hi. Hi, hello. Yeah. I assume this way is blocked. Yep. Don't need to go that way, so we're going this way. Alright, so this is dead end with treasure. Here goes, here goes. This is dead end with treasure, and the other way is progress, so let's dead end with treasure first. Yeah. All right, what do we got over here? We got dragon tree fruit. We take those. Get smacked. We squish bugs with a big hammer. What's going on here? Uh oh. It's a Saurian. All right. I'm very Saurian, but I'm going to have to defeat you now. All right, so what are you weak to? This one? Yeah, you're weak to this one. Oh god, I'm paralyzed. Don't paralyze me, that's rude. Oh, I could do one of these. This thing's level 60. That's a big number. It's a big fucking number. Jeez. It's like a full on boss fight. Oh, I'm bleeding. Don't bleed. Uh, I don't have anything to stop the bleeding. I just have regular remedies. Hell yeah. Nope. None of that. None of that. Don't paralyze me. Oh, we got him stunned. Nice. Things should be somewhat safer now. Yes. 
Sorry and hunt complete. Got me more virtue. I need to stand stand still for a moment while I heal up. So, I'm trying to think, like how much there actually is still to go. There's still quite a bit, I think, in terms of actual gameplay. So we've still got a good chunk. This is what, stream number 12, I think? Yeah, I can imagine going close to 20. Let's move on. Eh. Well, it's gonna be what's gonna be. There's, there's still like, there's a ton more of that dungeon to do. And... In terms of like exploration and stuff there's still there's still a good amount like the island's really big <laughs> there's still quite a few places we haven't been yet hey buddy and then as far as like actual story beats there's I don't think there's a ton more but it's gonna take a while to do everything hello release the disturbance Saving another spirit. Which one are you? So I'd never get out. Where am I? What will I do? Must be the maiden of the great tree or some such. Sorry, I didn't notice you there. I am Orvis, spirit of white knights. I reside in the southernmost mountains. Mm-hmm. Why are you here? Great commotion occurred in the mountains, and one by one my kin began to disappear. Probably the falling meteors. I'm gonna guess it was probably that. Spears are disappearing. Why? Hmm. I don't know. Forgot to thank you. I don't have much power left, but I would like you to have it. Okay. Swell. Gratica style has been enhanced. Nice. We take those. The situation is clearly affecting the spirits, too. This is troubling, but I need to go. Got more virtue. Alright, so that should take care of this whole thing here. This part of the map. If we go up this way, we're getting to... I'm making progress. Chill out. Here I am. What are you doing? Beyond here is sacred and forbidden the sacred and forbidden valley of kings. Guys, it's snowing. Just let me in. Just 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 let me in, man. Yeah, I'm the maiden of the great tree. That's stupid. Sorry, but I need you to go to sleep for a bit. <laughs> Welp. We did that now. That is a thing we did. Go ahead and save. Drop this nice and save. And in we go. Need to guide Adol first. Oh, okay. Well, can we can we plant the Yeah, there we go. Go ahead and plant a little uh, little tree there. What do you think you're doing? Maiden stuff? Fuck off. Yeah, I'm the maiden of the great tree. Is 
This is silly. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> All right, well, we did what we did. So now we should have some kind of a tree thing that will help us in the present. What was that? Sometimes you act in very surprising ways, Donna. Yeah, you're like a little troublemaker sometimes. <laughs> it's like the main character of a book. Quite. Valley of Kings is up ahead. You seem to be feeling better. Completely devoted myself to my duties as the maiden of the great tree. It's been a long time since I've done anything for myself like this. Well, you don't have to be the maiden of the great tree anymore. You can just be you, Donna. All right, so since we're here at a crystal, I'm going to take this opportunity to go back to, is it here? No, it's here. Oh, we need to, we need to be able to breathe underwater. Okay, I'm gonna take this opportunity, I'm gonna drop down here, and I think we can scoop up, whoa. Where is the sign? Is it down here? No. It's not down here. It's up where I jumped from. It's right here. Here it is. We got a ship nameplate. Why not? That's a gift for somebody. Is it? Is it? Who would that be a gift for? Dogie's already maxed out. Huron's already maxed out. Is it you, Thanatos? It might be Thanatos. Or actually, no, it's not. It's you. It's Cathew. It's Cathew. The nameplate from the Lombardia. Yep, enormous ship with four masts. It was love at first sight. I feel the same. How about we put it on the ship we're constructing right now? That's a great idea. The Lombardia 2. The captain would be proud. Yeah. All right. Got increased approval for Cathew. Fantastic. All right. While we're here, let me um, let me scoop new armor and weapon for Donna. How can I help you today? New armor for Donna. All right. Finished. New weapon for Donna. Can I help you today? I'll get started. There we go. Ooh, it's complete. All right. Very good. So now we're done all of this. We're at what? Are we at 21 people? We are at 21 people, so we can open this up. Let's do that while we're here. While we're thinking about it, while it's fresh in our minds, let's go ahead and do that. Because if I don't do it, now I'm going to forget. That is for damn sure. Whoa, okay, okay. Just go up, just go up the vines, guy. Just go up. Come on. There we go. There we go. Thanks, guys. 
Now we've got a rope ladder. So here we are. Now we're up here. Take care of these dudes. Take care of these dudes. I think we're gonna find a person up here. Uh, if I remember correctly, we might actually find a person up here. That would be swell. Oh, come on. There we go. Big bugs. Ow. That hurt. That was rude. Stop. Treasure. Found a treasure. There's another treasure. And there is a person. It's a butler. Hey there, dude. Is that Loxia's butler? Hmm. Looks like another survivor, but what kind of person throws himself a tea party? Franz, is that really you? Good on the butler for surviving this long on his own. Yeah, right? <laughs> this is like, this is like super dangerous part of the map. Tried to save me on the Lombardi, I ended up falling overboard. Known you long enough to know you, you'd be fine. To your butler, I'm honored that you place so much trust in me. Besides, I know how to swim, unlike you, so I was never in any danger of Fucking got her. <laughs> you snuck out of Roswell Manor to wander about without a care in the world. If I had to guess, you had a far more relaxing, carefree trip in mind. Yep, I bet she didn't bank on crash landing on an island. Butler's like these. There's no, there's no, like my dick. <laughs> yep. Seems you're undergoing ra some rather drastic changes. Yeah, he's her butler. She is a noble. And there's Franz. So that brings us up to 22 people. Allow me to formally introduce myself. I am Franz, butler to House Roswell. It would appear that you have been taking care of Mistress Laxia in my stead. <laughs> I hope she has included... So are you like... You are you like a combat butler? Is that your deal? Seems to be a fairly common... RPG anime trope. Loxia has been very helpful. Find me quite fascinating. Mm hmm. Okay. Sure doesn't seem like a hoity toity butler. Never seen him struggle to do anything. Mm hmm. Been wandering the northern region of the island all by himself. I guess we just don't ask questions. Alright, head on back to the village, dude. Cool, so we have 22 people. Were there any places that needed 22? 23. This one needs 24. So, yeah, I think we don't have enough to do anything else at the moment. Alright. So that's fine. We've gotten... This is where the side quest is. There's a couple more question mark places. Uh, but we're good here for now. So let's... This place is 100%ed. So we need to go back here. We'll shoot over to this. Yeah, everything else is in front of us. So that's good. 
looking for me. <laughs> Just don't do that again. All right. Where is this? What fresh hell is this? Oh, this this is quite hell, actually, I believe. <laughs> if memory serves, this is going to be a bit hell. There's three characters you have to use. No, these are my this is my preference. We have six, so we've got Sahad, Hummel, and Donna. Also, I probably should switch some of these guys in every once in a while, though, because they are starting to fall behind in level. But they're definitely... Oh, this is the side quest. These are the guys I have to kill with the side quest. Um, they're definitely, to me, the ones that are, like, the best. Oh god, this guy's thick. Maybe once he breaks, he'll take a lot more damage? Yeah, kinda. Seems like. Jeez. Go down. Yeah. Get wrecked. All right, so. How many of them are there? There's this guy. There's one down there also. Now. Rude. Come on now. Come on now. Got him. So, wait. See JRPGs are usually streaming content. Any personal favorite ones? Oh, Chrono Trigger's top three game. Chrono Trigger is not a game I've played, but it's one that's been on my list for years. <laughs> one of these days, I really got to get to it. Um, personally, I'm I'm really big on the Tales series. Um, and over the past year or so, I've gotten hooked on the Trails series also. Those are probably some of the, the main ones that I try to stream. I'm also also a Pokemon fan, so I like to do those. Um, Fire Emblem is something I'm into, but I haven't played a ton of. I've only played a few of those. And then, kind of in general, I like Legend of Zelda. Um, mostly the 3D games, and mostly the earlier 3D games. But, those are probably the main, the main favorites. Let's, uh, we, we need the, what is it, hemostatic, there we go. Alright, this is, um, this is getting a little feisty here. That's some big dudes. Let's try to maximize damage. That should do a good amount to a few of them. There we go, yeah. Ah, ugh. Taking too much. Too much heat. Too much heat. Played Xenoblade on my own. Okay, see, that's about it. Never heard of the Tales series. That's, um, not totally surprising. Oh. Well, I guess we're doing this in the middle of a battle. <laughs> Tales series, it's been out in the U.S. for uh, since like 98, I think, was when Tales of Destiny came out. But it's been so, like, not marketed. There was a uh, one game in uh, 2003 called Tales of Symphonia that was a big release at the time. 
and is still probably the most popular entry in the West. And after that, there's been a bunch of games that came out, but none of them were really, like, widely known. And they really just kind of came out with a little fanfare, much to the displeasure of Tails fans, because see, it kind of seems like Bandai Namco doesn't really care, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Um, but there's a bunch of them, and they're really good. Xenoblade is a game, I tried to get into that one around the same time I started getting into Trails, and I... Trails took over. So I think I need to give that another shot. Because I kind of just stopped like about 15 hours in to Xenoblade 1. And I just need to probably start over with it. Because I've heard only good things. Um, Alright, so interestingly, we... While I was in the middle of that, <laughs> that fight, I opened up the path here. This is interesting because this takes me back into the uh, submerged cemetery. Which this, I believe, connects back to that one place that we were at that we couldn't open the gate to. If I'm not mistaken. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Let's find out. Oh, we got water. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and 3, much more than 1. That's all I know. I've never played a Xena Saga. Yeah, I, I don't have any knowledge of Xena Saga. Or, what's the other one? There's another one, too. Um, Xena Gears. I don't know that one, either. Other than the fact that I know that Xena Gears is, like, $300 to buy used. <laughs> it's one of those games. It has insanely high markup in retro game stores and stuff. Liquid. Yeah, this is definitely not the place I thought it was. This is something totally different. That's fine, though. Can you... Thank you. Need you to open up your little uh, weak spot up here at the top. No, open up, please. I'm just trying to kill you. Xena Gears was the original one from the 90s. Yeah, a big part of why I have a hard time playing older games. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not above emulating. I would prefer not to if I don't have to. But, yeah, unless they re-release on Steam, that's that certainly helps for sure. Um, yeah, I try, I try to play things legit as much as I possibly can, but sometimes. Uh, these these guys just keep coming back to life. That's what's happening. They're zombie fish. Here's me just like not paying attention to the fact that they keep respawning themselves. <laughs> like where do they keep coming from, man? Not above emulating. I have bad luck with websites. Yeah. Yeah. It's always a risk. Alright, so, there we go. That opens this gate. So that just creates the shortcut. So that doesn't really do much for me, honestly. Alright, so I want to go, first I want to go this way. Ow, Jesus! Relax, guys. I'm just passing through. I'm not threatening your habitat or whatever. Be cool. Lordy. What did we find? We found a location. Soundless Hall. Oh, Sounds a bit foreboding. A beautiful view. No 
underwater breathing mechanics? There is. Um, normally I would drown, but we had to, specifically for a story purpose, we had to find this uh, hermit scale, which allows me to breathe underwater. So that was a very specific thing, because without that we couldn't have gone to fight the big squid that sank my ship. But if I were to unequip that, I would have a air meter, and it would go down very quickly. Alright, I'm not fighting you. Fuck this. Not worth my time, man. Dude. <laughs> so if I despise games that have a breathing mechanic, it gives me nightmares of Sonic. <clears throat> All right, so the, yeah, this this is what I this is where I thought we were gonna end up. So this is that part of the Bellato Monastery where we couldn't open this door, and now we can, and now we can get the treasure chests that are in here, and hopefully they're worth it. Because that took a lot of effort. Great tree lumber. We got some good supplies. Got some good rare supplies. Here's the big thing: life elixir. All right, fine. I could use those items. <laughs> I could. One of these days I probably will. If I ever remember to. Hey dude, I killed your monsters. I sure did defeat them. Reward, please. Alright. I have a new fish to feed the bird. I have a new fish. I have something for you. Oh, I already gave you this? Oh. Okay. I don't know how I already gave you one when I didn't have one. Maybe I had one from... Uh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> It was probably a carryover from New Game Plus. I must have fed it to her already. That's fine. That's no big. Um, there was something else I wanted to do before we ended off. What was it? What was I going to do? I was going to do something. Something back here at camp. Oh no. Oh no, my brain. It's forgetting things. Use your resources. Maybe. Please take this. Please take it, was de it was definitely that. Um, I don't remember. Oh, I do remember. I do remember. It was. Let's see if I can upgrade weapons. And I can. That's what I want to do. Upgrade weapons. Because some of those things are taking a long time to kill. I would like to make sure that... Oh, I'm low on essence stones. That's not great. I need to make sure All right, finished. I have enough to... Uh, should be enough. Should be enough. I think we're going to be okay with that. As long as Donna doesn't need one. All right. I need three essence stones. Hey, Dina. Hey, Dina. Hey, Dina. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy, what would it take for you to give me some essence stones? What would you need from me in order for me to get some essence stones? Are they commodities? They are commodities. I need tektite ore. That's fine. I've got plenty of that. <laughs> Sweet. There we go. That's how we get things done. Alright. So, um, with that, where, let's take stock of what's on the map. So we've got this, which needs 24 people. We've got this over here, which needs tw uh, 23 people. So that's all okay. This is up ahead. I don't think we've reached this yet, so I don't know what it is. 
This is the submerged cemetery. That's fine. Um, so we need to get back to the marsh, which is right here. And we need to finish going through the marsh. So there's a whole bunch of stuff over that way. There's a few treasure chests. That's fine. And this should take us into the Valley of Kings. Oh my god. Give it a rest, guys. <laughs> there is no reason for you to be so angry at me. There's no need. I didn't do anything. I just ran past you. I just did the cardinal sin of running past you. Alright, I want this treasure chest. <laughs> Alright, so there's a whole bunch of, like, exploration to do here. So we're gonna do that. And we also, I think we opened the next part of the underground dungeon back in the past. So we can do that also. So that's what I'm going to focus on next time. This is this is Master Kong, and I don't think we can do Master Kong yet. I think he's uh, he's going to be too tired to train the next person up. And I don't think there's any other question marks or side quests or anything else to do other than just pushing forward for progress. So I think that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap things up for tonight. So thank you guys so much for watching, whether you're watching live here on Twitch, or after the fact on the Twitch VODs, or after after the fact on the YouTube VODs. However you're watching, thank you very much. Greatly appreciate it. So today is the 11th. Um, Monday is, what, the 15th. So take care, Kit Stevens. Thanks for hanging out. Um, Monday the 15th will be the next stream, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, until about 9.30-ish. And we're going to continue through here first. I want to try to get to the Valley of Kings and do that. We'll find out what this question mark is. And this is obviously main story. Um, and then once we've kind of dealt with the immediate thing, we'll go back into the past and try to do the next bit of Donna's dungeon. See what we can do there. I think we have finished all three of the floors. I don't think there's anything that we left unfinished there. So, uh, no, there is. There was that, the top of the, that first room. We we'll need to revisit that. Um, so we can do that. We can explore that. Go into the next floor, do the work there, and then we'll just see if we can find another person or two. We can open up some more passages and get some more things done. If not, we'll just go ahead and push forward with the story. So I hope you're excited for that. I know I am. I will see you then. Good night.